Now, let us talk about emotions and learning. Now, the first thing is positive emotions act as motivators in learning. Right? Because when a person is happy, then he is more likely to be interested in learning something. So, positive emotions act as motivators. Negative emotions may hamper or hinder the learning process. Obviously, if a person is sad, then he or she might not be able to pick up something because he or she is not paying attention in class. So, negative emotions are bad for the learning process. And extreme emotions can be distracting. If a person is very happy or a person is very sad, then they are not paying attention in class. So, extreme emotions can be distracting. Next, positive emotions may act as cognitive reinforcement. If positive emotions are motivators, then they are also cognitive reinforcement because they will reinforce the teaching learning process as well. And let us look at uh, how can a teacher deal with emotions in the classroom. Now, as a teacher, you should be aware of individual emotions as well as group emotions because sometimes the entire class as a group might be happy about something or might be afraid of something, might be worried about something. So, you should be aware of group emotions as well. And you should teach children how to recognize and deal with their own emotions because this is an opportunity for you as a teacher to develop emotional intelligence in children. And uh, children will participate better in the classroom, they will be more happier in the classroom if they feel a sense of belonging and a feeling of safety in the classroom. So, that's something which you have to promote as a teacher. And uh, if you make learning more enjoyable and more relatable, then that becomes a fun activity. So, that is a positive emotion. So, that will be a motivator for learning. And uh, by sharing appreciation, admiration and positivity in the classroom, you are bringing in a positive energy or a positive emotion into the classroom. Therefore, as a teacher, these are some of the basic steps that you need to take to deal with emotions in the classroom.